All right, what's going on, guys? This is Maneliki, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within, where we are continuing our little adventure. Uh, at this point, we uh, we just had a pretty successful mission, and we are currently building a thermo generator. And I may or may not even build uh, another power generator here. We'll see how much power we get because we're gonna get a adjacency bonus from here and same thing for here so maybe we'll maybe we'll add one more and then two more satellite uplinks and we'll call it done with that we're gonna get quite a bit of money uh, coming at the start of the month here uh, which is in five days actually so we're gonna be coming into a lot of money 600 bucks so we should be able to build quite a bit of stuff now I don't think I can excavate I only have like two bucks um, I would like to excavate that and power gener access lift. It costs fifty bucks to power. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. So we're gonna leave that for now. And you know, I never really, never really looked around. Yeah, I've never really done this. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, well, there you have it. There's my stuff. There's the hangar. There's command. There's the situ... Okay, anyways. That's enough of that noise. So, we have a couple of soldiers that are uh, a little bit hurt still. Most of our people are fine. Like, as you can see, i got lots, but I've still got three wounded. Kitty, I guess. I don't know if I want to call her Kitty. <laughs> I'll just call her Molly. But anyway, she's wounded. Vita is wounded. And then, of course, Emo is she'll be back in uh, three days and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and run the clock actually let's have a quick look at our research see how we're doing oh yes yeah, beam we weapons in three days oh yeah we can just look at this expanded list of events here so yeah the ship will go to Europe in a day you know satellite operational over Germany two days which is good because the council reports in five so we're gonna get more money so that's good so let's run the clock see what we get Alright. Molly made it back. Alien abductions reported. Let's see. We're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the holocaust. Okay, so here's the thing. I want the scientists. But there's more panic in Brazil and Russia. You know? Oh, that's awkward. So I really want those scientists. But I think I already said before that I was going to try and focus on panic reduction. I mean... Yeah, that's... Uh, damn this game. <laughs> damn this game. Making me choose like this. Hmm. Difficult. I'm not super concerned about the difficulty. Well. What's a fellow to do? Maybe I'll just suffer. Suffer a little bit of panic. Go for the scientists. Or maybe I'll lower panic. Well, the panic's not getting that bad. I don't know. You don't know. Um, well, you know what? We definitely need those scientists. Let's go for that. We're doing it. Let's hope we don't get completely screwed on panic later. <laughs> um, Alright. So, we have her. Okay, so we're going to leave... Because one, two, three... We, we do not need three heavies. Like, no. So, Jang, as awesome as you are, get the hell out of here. We're going to bring a <coughs> Rook. Rookie. Uh, sniper support. Um, you guys are pretty high level. 
Let's bring Molly. She just got back. Well, she's not really a recruit, but she's only a sergeant, right? And do we have a sniper? Captain Mercier. Oh, she's a captain. Let's bring, uh, what's her face? No, Emo's still wounded. Okay, uh, scratch that. I do want at least one sniper. And we have two heavies. We probably don't need two heavies. So, it's, in fact, Captain Cats, you don't need to be in there. Let's, uh, uh, let's get, we can bring Hector. Yep, get him some levels. And Captain Papadopoulos. I don't remember what... No, I think he still has room to level up. Uh, level... Let's see if I can see this. He's a captain. I don't know... I don't know if... Uh, oh, no, there is more levels. They got room to grow yet. It goes all the way up to Colonel. I forgot. Okay, so that's not so horrible then. Maybe Pappy can stay in there. Because we don't want to lose the, the damn mission. <laughs> so yeah, that's fine. Can I change your loadout at all? Give you a friggin' thing? No, I can't. So you're stuck with the basic garbage loadout. Sorry, Molly. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that, actually. Yeah. Just get some people leveled up, you know? <coughs> Delgado and McCarthy. The relative rookies of the mission. That's okay. Touching down. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Okay, so no special objectives. We're just killing stuff, getting the meld. No problem. We got this. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Okay. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, now this uh, this map is always interesting. Uh, there's so many different ways they can come at you. This is actually a pretty challenging map. Just just by virtue of the map itself. So this is going to be an interesting one. So, okay. Uh, all right, Pappy, you're going to go first, I'm thinking. There is no good cover for you, sir, so you're going to have to brave it. So what are we looking at here? Okay, I'm thinking we're going to send you up this way. You have no shot on anybody from that. You don't need it, because you need to go to those other shipping containers. So, you go there. Isabel will worry about you later. Alright, Molly. Kitty. I don't like that name. I'm just going to call her Molly. So, let's go here. Oh, those guys. Okay. They're scary, but they are easy to combat. So that being said, actually, let's let's deal with that. Um, you can go here, Hector. Uh, Penny, why don't you just go here? And you, just for this round, you're actually not going to move at all. You're going to Overwatch right there. I think these sneaky sneak guys can move fair move a fair distance before they attack. There it is. Boom, boom. See that's really cool and all, but there was two. So it would kinda of be really nice. Oh all oh, those guys. Oh, those guys. Oh, you can do it, Molly. Oh, you suck. Maybe you can't. So the meld is over there. Got it. Okay, so we have one sneaky sneak and two floaty floats. 
and they are a pain in the ass. Okay, so we already have shots on them, so that's something at least. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? I didn't move my sniper, right? So now she has no squad sight. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, what kind of shots we got here? 50%, 42, 22. I could take the pistol out and take a pot shot. 50, 56. Okay, I don't like where you're at there, Molly, so you're going to reposition. No, you're not. You're going to get strangled over there. Uh, okay, so this is already a very interesting situation, so... I'm not super concerned about corpses. I could just blow them up, really. Okay, well... Isabel needs to get into position no matter what happens here. Maybe she'll just take a shot with her pistol. There's the squad sight, but she can't use it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she can't use that. Yeah, there we go, yeah. yeah. <coughs> That's unfortunate. 78. Well, she can still hit with her pistol. Okay, I have squad side on the other alien. Which I can't use my pistol for. So let's just take a pot shot with the sniper. Or the pistol. Okay, fine. Just got a shot there. And same thing with you, sir. You're going to be a little more accurate with your pistol. 62... I'll take those odds. Oh, nice. Okay, that was unusually lucky. Alright, I want you to keep watch for that other alien. Not the, the uh, sneak guys. You need to keep watch. Oh, I have made a tactical error. <laughs> As you see, I have three guys all within grenade range. Now, I don't think... I don't think these guys can lob grenades, but if they could, I'd be in a world of hurt. I could That'd be a great spot for a smoke grenade, actually, but I really need to be overwatching right now. Yeah. Yeah, because those, uh, that second stealth alien's gonna wreck me if I'm not paying attention like that. Yeah, it's moving right now. Why the camera wasn't moving. Wow, really, eh? Huh. I don't want to wait too long because I do want that meld. So. Here's what we'll do we'll swing up this way. We will swing up this way. That way we're all together, more or less. He's going to switch to the shoddy. And actually, he's going to keep watch immediately in case we trip somebody as we move forward. Alright, kitty. Why don't you take that position there? Okay. Alright, Hector. Let's move you up here. Not super useful. Actually, I probably should have moved to the other spot. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Okay. Penny, you can go there. Mercier. In fact, Mercier, you're going to keep watch over the whole situation with your sniper rifle. There we are. Uh, really? Oh! <laughs> Everybody missed, and Mercy's like, I got it. <laughs> oh, she's like probably one of the best snipers I've ever had, actually. That's amazing. That being said, she can keep the Black Widow title. That's kind of badass, and she's definitely very badass. Alright, so... Um... Now we can't forget the floater. So, we're going to... If I, like, if I go here, do I have a shot? Where can I put Pappy, actually? I'd rather put him... Yeah, he's got to be front and center, this guy. Okay. So, we're going to cover this way. I'm bothered about the floater. I'm genuinely bothered. So, I'm going to make my way up this way, I think. I do want that meld before it goes away. Oh, shit. Uh... 
Okay, here's the problem. I might have to miss that meld because in order to get there, I'm going to have to rush. Like, seriously, big time rush. And I do not want to do that. Oh, jeez. I would have to run McCarthy up there, out in the, into the open, basically. And basically risk her life for that meld. And I don't know that I want to do that. I really want that meld, but I really don't want to be losing soldiers either. Certainly not this early. So, why don't you take that spot? Roger that. Simply because you can. I think we're actually going to take this opportunity to reload Ready her. Talk. Now, I could position her up here. But that would be a run. And I don't know if there's people up there. And by people, I mean aliens. Um... I don't remember if I don't know if I've checked over this way. All right, Hector, why don't you just have a quick look that way? And yeah, you're good. Yeah, you know he'll just cover that angle. And I'd love to get Mercier up here. Like, this would be a badass position for her to be. But she runs the risk of just straight up dying. So I don't know if I want that. Hmm. Maybe what I'll do. So I'll put her here. Moving out. And then next turn. I'll put her in a better position. Aye, aye. And I think I just lost that meld, yeah. Oh, you suck. Molly, you are a disappointment. Negative damage. Okay. I need to reload you anyways. 81% shot. Finish this guy and redeem yourself, girl. Okay, or just shoot him in the frickin' no finger. Bastard. Alright. 70% shot. Let will just take it with the pistol. 67. Nope. I'll take the shotgun shot. Every little bit helps. I don't want to be missing here. Good night. Okay. Alright, so let's get Mercier in position, despite the dash. Got it, moving. Now, I'm hoping to upgrade her with the gene lab so that she doesn't need to use stairs. She can just hop up there. But that's another story for another time. On my way. Let's get Delgado in proper position here. Uh, Penny, you can chill right there. Actually, no, you might as well move up. Yeah, she's going to have to move up eventually. There's no good spots for her to go, though. Well, I'm going to have to put her there, even though she can't watch properly. Yeah, there's nobody coming anyway, I don't think. Uh, she's not covered from that angle, though. Alright, I'm just going to dash her there. She won't be able to go on Overwatch, but that's... That's life. So that meld, unfortunately, is going to die. Which is frustrating. But, uh... What's making that noise? It is what it is. I'd rather lose a meld than a soldier. Okay, so let's... Make our way up here, actually. Wait. Happy go further. No. See, that's a really awkward. Well, at least there's a Porta Johnny up there, so if any of my guys have to take a shit, well, we we're covered there at least. Okay, so we'll go there. <laughs> Reload. Back um, I don't want to split up my forces at all. So, unfortunately, once again, we're going to have to dash Penny. Inside. And we're going to lose that mail too. Damn. That is unfortunate. Oh, wait. Did I not reload you? I thought I reloaded her. Well, I guess not. Which means... Uh, let's go here. And then reload if we don't see anybody. Okay. Let's do this. 
and actually you can stay right there and keep watch. And Hector, you can friggin' dash all the way up to here and cover that angle, even though you won't be covering anything on this turn. Okay, we lost both melds. <laughs> so, that sucks. That's okay, though. So, we'll go up here. No, we won't. We'll go with these guys first. Make sure the way is clear. Okay. Yeah, Penny, you go ahead. Okay, so that corner's clear. Clear for uh, Molly to come up here. Uh, there's nothing special there, so she can go here. No need to ask twice. Well, that's good, because I'm your commander, and you should just do it on the first go. So let's move... Uh, yeah, there's really no yes, commander. super good spots for that, so again, I'm going to have to dash him there. Just kind of inch our way forward here. I don't think we're alone out here. No, you're definitely not alone. You know, it is kind of interesting, actually. Oh, oh, oh. I see a Chinese sign, and I see some Chinese writing on the walls. We're actually in Mexico right now, so that's a bit odd. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, there's the other meld. Okay, right. So this battlefield is looking a little bit familiar to me now. Um, Moving out. Yeah. Look sharp. Enemies rolling up. What's up, kids? Those sectoids are funny. Alright, so it's 22, 42. Uh, I don't like those odds. Oh, yeah, she's got squad sight. What's she got? 98 and 88. Well, I see no reason to allow that alien to live past this. But before we do that, let's see if we can take one of them out. She's got 98. On, okay, 22 on that. Uh, okay, I can't even run and gun it. Ninety-eight, eighty-eight. I feel like I'm just gonna take this guy right out of the picture, and then worry about the other one. Good night. Oh, right through the bra or the the bricks or whatever. That was awesome. Oh man. All right. That's very, very cool. Gotta love squad sight. So we, we're just gonna take the shot. I don't wanna break cover right now for no reason. So we're just gonna take the shot. We might even get a critical and finish him, but probably not. We might not even hit him. Oh no, we got him. Okay, well, whatever, one damage. Whatever. Yeah, I could get some elevation on this guy, assuming, of course, there's nothing up here, which could be awkward. Oh no, we're good. I'm on it. And Penny, you can move up. Kitty, <laughs> you can go here. I don't know if you can see him from here. No. Okay, well, I guess we could just finish him. Man, she's badass. Nailed him. I need he help. Nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. No meld, though, which is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. That's okay, though.
It is always reassuring when our troops return from an operation unscathed. I just hope we can recover more of this meld substance in the future. Yeah, I don't think I even took a hit that time, so that was pretty cool. Alright, Delgado got promoted. That's exactly what we wanted, so... Allows the soldier to move, allows reaction shots to trigger on attacks, not just movement. He's a support. I just, I really feel that that sprinter ability is great. Being able to move farther is badass. Okay, so we got our scientists. Be in touch, Commander. But we increased. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. This is not good. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Was I not building more satellites? Apparently not. This is actually really bad. Um, I didn't realize they were gonna go from like two to four in one shot, or I probably would have uh, said to hell with the scientists. But there you go. Um, what are we doing? Engineering. We're not building anything. We have no money. We can't. I appreciate your Beam weapons will be done in a day. Alright. Good. Glad to hear it. So, I think I might actually cut the video a little early. Um, so we're going to, uh, yeah, that might be a great spot to call it. So in the next mission, or in the next video rather, we're going to uh, have a satellite operation over Germany, which should help with the panic, I hope. We'll have beam weapons. Might even have a thermal generator, and we'll get the council report in four quick days, get us a bunch of monies, and we'll see how we're doing there. So, we'll, uh, we'll pick this up in the next video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.